It is part of our, our heritage, it's part of Kew's heritage, it's part of the British heritage, it's part of what we do on a World Heritage Site. So it's, you know, we consider it's money well spent because the quality of the restoration we've done will give at least another 25 years life to all the paint systems and all the, all the equipment which we put in. So we won't need another major refurbishment, I think, on a scale like this. I would hope for another 150 years. There's always some, some pressure when you know, you, you're growing certain plants that are the only ones in the UK that are, as I said, 100 years old plus, that are you know, critically endangered or even extinct in the wild. So yes, there is a sense of pressure, but try to, you've got to try and not think about that. If not, you, you wouldn't do anything because you get so risk averse. We took so much care, you know, notably some of the larger plants that we had to, to move. It's a process that takes up to a year because we prune the roots nice and carefully, give the, time, they give the plant time to re-root and re-establish itself before it's actually lifted out of the ground. So it is a long process and takes a lot of time. And we were just planning this temperate house, working out how to fix it up, what to do, and to come back now when it's fully completed to not only see it sparkling and you can see through the glass and fresh paint and wonderful detail, but also to see the plantings. To see those plants now in place is fantastic. What's interesting though is the plants that used to grow here looked very sickly, didn't look very happy. The old temperate house wasn't a great place for growing Australian plants where I come from 
or growing plants from other temperate areas. So now uh, you can really see them shining. Uh, there are a few around the world, but they're all clones of this one plant, so it's a lonely male. Um, we're still looking for the potential that there is a female uh, out there. There are arguments about there's the potential that one could change sex, but it needs to undergo a very high level of stress, stress that we don't want to put on these plants. Uh, it might have suffered the stress from the restoration, so who knows, if it was a female cone, I'll let you guys know.